Hey guys, Eric here with the Savvy Campers. Today we're going to go through the top five bunkhouse trailers that we are looking at this year. Some of them are new models for this year and some of them have been produced in the past, but they're tried and true floor plans. So let's get into it and really look at what when we look for a trailer, what we look for, and this can help you find your next trailer. So first off, we've got the Grand Design and this is the Imagine XLS 23BHE. And we discovered this plan a few months ago and we kind of fell in love with it. Um, we do have some reservations on it, but it fits our needs. We are looking for a shorter trailer with a bunkhouse because we go to campgrounds such as Glacier National Park where you can't always have a super long trailer because you might book and only get an 18 foot spot or a 24 foot spot and you're not going to fit a 30 foot trailer in there. So we have to be careful on what we look for. So this trailer is kind of, it kind of fits our needs. Um, it has a separate bedroom. Most of you know right now um, we have the Winnebago 2106 DS, which we love, but it's got two Murphy beds and it's kind of, there's no separate bedroom or anything and there's no bunkhouse. And so we're looking for a bunkhouse now with our kids and um, we really want a separate bedroom. So this one, this one really hits the spot. So we've got two double bunks, we've got a dinette, we've got a 20 foot awning, we've got a separate queen bed, and then we've got a nice kitchen in the slide out, um, and then actually a nice functional bathroom. Uh, under pass-through storage is pretty neat, as you'll see, and then you've got the outdoor kitchen with the LP Quick Connect, a spray port, and and a little refrigerator, which for us, we boondock most of the time, so that doesn't doesn't really help much. So our weight is great, it's 5,300 pounds dry. Um, that That's a great weight for a dry camper. I think ours now is about 3,800 pounds, so it is a little heavier than ours now, but it's not bad. The hitch weight is not bad either at 504 pounds. That will leave you having um, more payload capacity in your truck versus some that have a lot heavier hitch weight. The gross weight on this is about 7,000 pounds. So you have about 1,700 pounds of, of cargo that you can put in here between water, your uh, fresh tank, gray tank, and black tank. The length, we are, we're hoping to be around 25 foot total. Ours now is about 21 foot total. So this is a little bit longer, so I'm not sure if this is one that, that will actually fit, um, but it fits the specs nicely. Um, fresh water, 43 gallons, that's not bad. Um, it's not the best, as you'll see in some, with some of the other ones, but um, fresh water is easy to get. You can just put it in five gallons at a time. The gray water tank, 82 gallons. I love that. That really makes us happy because we can go shower and really enjoy that. Ours right now is 25 gallons, and so this is going to be a big upgrade. Same with the waste. Ours currently now is 25 gallons, which can last us two weeks if we're at a campground. We go to the bathroom um, at the campground anyways. Furnace, 25,000 BTU, that's pretty standard. We've got our insulation. Our awning length is important. So that's one thing you wanna make sure it covers your door, but then if you have an outdoor kitchen or anything like that, you wanna make sure that's covered too. So this basically covers the whole trailer beside your pass-through. So 20 foot is a good length. I'm not gonna bore you with a ton of this. Um, but it does come with solar on it, which is nice. And you can get the 10, 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. I think if we did it, we would just stick with the eight cubic foot propane, uh, electric fridge. But, um, this is a nice model. One of our reservations on this is this dinette. As you can see it, it, most of the dinettes have a big slide out and kind of a U shape. I don't know how... Um, effect of the u-shape is for some people unless i mean obviously with little kids it's fine but for adults you really probably could only fit four in anyways but um so it's a good uh good floor plan i just wish that dinette that'd be cool if they had another slide out for the dinette but then you're going to be um adding a bunch of weight so we can look at the gallery real quick and i'll note oh, come on i guess we won't um, I was just going to note that the shower has a nice, or the bathroom has a nice layout. There's plenty of uh, cabinets in the RV, and, and it's a very, very nice trailer. So um, this, oh, here we go. We can cycle through real quick. Um, as you can see, it looks, it's got nice modern lines. These cabinets come up kind of like on an Airstream. 
um, you've got a wardrobe or a you know pantry next next to your fridge it's a wardrobe if you have people staying in the bunks and you need to hang clothes so this has one of those uh, retractable shower curtains which those are nice those normal shower curtains are not not good and then a, a window in the bathroom is very nice to see you've got nice area for your all your towels and then um, you've got nice area here for storage so the bathroom is awesome uh, the bunks are just, I'd say they're normal bunks. Some of them, this, you can have storage under here. I've seen some of them that just have dead space, which is pretty stupid on the uh, designer part. Um, nice storage under the dinette, and that folds down to a bed. And uh, that's pretty much it. Tons of storage in here for uh, your bedroom. And here's the outdoor kitchen. I'd probably take this and probably take this shelf out and put my Blackstone in here. Um, or actually, maybe I'd take the fridge out, put the blackstone in there, and then we'd probably do most of our cooking outside. Um, you have your nice kind of area with all your ports and things um, nice and neat inside. The next one is the Lance 2185. This one has been on our list for a while. It's been a little expensive, but a lot of the RVs now have raised their prices, and Lance hasn't kind of kept up with raising their prices as much so this is now I'd say a little more affordable as you compare with other models so this is the Lance 2185 let's go ahead first and look at the gallery you can see kind of what what catches our eye on this so here's the floor plan so you've got um, your nice bed up front you've got your wardrobes you've got your dinette you've got two doors which is really nice. Um, I wish this bedroom was separate, but obviously then you'd have to add some length on it. You only have, you have your, your sink out here for your bathroom. So your bathroom does not have a sink in it. Um, you've got a nice big dinette and you've got the three bunk beds and then wardrobes for the bunk beds. So it's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice rig. We can go through some of these. As you can see, it looks very spacious. Um, it's a lant, so it's got good products in it. It's got a nice skylight in there. Nice lighting. And then you saw that you have two sinks. So you have your kitchen sink, and then right on the other side of here, you have your bathroom sink, which actually isn't bad because if someone's in the bathroom or the shower and they want to brush your te their teeth, there's a sink out there. So you could have two people in the bed, two people on the dinette, and three people there. So if you've got all those people, it might be better to have that sink out back, and, and we'll uh, cycle through and show you. And then having the two doors is nice because if you do have people sleeping on the bunks then having a door up front uh, maybe you won't wake them this is nice when you lay down in this bed and look out at the stars lance you did a good job on this i love all the windows in here so you could have some good cross ventilation so there's where you have your kitchen sink and then you have your bathroom sink So that's about about it um, with this one. You're, since you have the two doors, you're not going to get the outdoor kitchen, um, but you have the kind of pack and play door to load bikes in the back. So um, this is one that we do like. And, and when you're searching for travel trailers, you're never gonna find the perfect one. And if you are searching for a travel trailer, make sure to check out our website savvycampers.com slash inspection course. We have a course that when you buy a new trailer, you need to inspect it yourself. So we actually have a course that walks you through step by step on how to inspect either a new or used travel trailer. When we bought our trailer, uh, we've inspected it and we found out that some of the electrical was miswired. So good thing we found that out. And then another thing we did not inspect the water heater. We inspected the water heater on electric but we didn't expect inspect it on gas because we just figured, oh, if it runs on electric, it's fine. We go boondocking our first time. We have no hot water on gas. Turns out the circuit board was fried from the factory and um, they had to order a new one in. And if we would have found that out when we did our pre-purchase inspection, um, we would have um, saved ourselves a few trips to the dealer and wasting a bunch of time. So if you do want to buy that, it's... Uh, good investment for your money and you will you should save that money in your first purchase and you can use it time and time again most people actually talking with the dealers they'll go through 
about four to five trailers in their lifetime, just as as their life changes. And and when we heard the dealer say that, we were like, yeah, right, you're just trying to you know sell us more or something like that. But we've had our trailer and, and we've been looking for a new one for a couple of years now. So I know as we step up in this world, we're gonna be searching for more. So you can use that course. It'll teach you how to save money on negotiating as well as inspect your trailer and use coupon code inspection and uh, we'll give you 50% off that. So um, go ahead, check it out. And if you want to purchase it, use that coupon code and you can get 50% off. Um, so spec wise, overall length is 25 foot eight. That fits our needs wonderfully. And we're looking at trailers. We're not looking at these big boys um, today. We're looking at more smaller bunk house for you guys. Uh, we'll do big bunk houses on a later video. Dry weight, 4,500 pounds. I don't know how they make them so light. They must use uh, really good lightweight materials. The hitch weight though, 755 pounds, that's a lot to take off of your um, your payload out of your truck. You've got a good cargo carrying capacity of 2,400 pounds. Um, you got 45 fresh, 45 gray, 45 black, plenty of capacity on your tanks. So that's another one that we're strongly considering. So let's move on to the next one. This is the 2306 BHS. This is a new model. It's a micro mini FLX, which is new new for this year. And um, I, I kind of like it. We always look at bunk beds and we say, oh, you need to have the doubles, but you can't really fit two adults there anyway. So this has single bunks, um, which actually I don't think are that bad. This has the option for, you've got the Murphy bed up front, and then you've got the option for the sofa versus the dinette. I think we would do the dinette on this model. Um, bathroom, it's kind of the corner shower. It's pretty standard. We can go through. This FLX model, they're designed to last up to, I think, five days boondocking. Um, they have great axle capacity, two 4,000-pound axles, Great dry weight, 4,500 pounds. Great hitch weight, 500 less than 500 pounds. It's a, it's a great RV. The only thing that's a downside is your black tank holding is 25, your gray tank is 25, and your fresh water is 31. That's exactly what we have right now. And I would say that's a little lacking, but we do like this floor plan. And then this exterior length, 25 foot eight, that's what we like about it. I don't know if there's much more we need to see about this model, but Winnebago makes a great uh, RV and uh, it looks good. It looks great. It's got some solar built in and I think I saw electrical So basically 400 watts of solar and then it comes with a 320 amp hour lithium and an inverter so That is ready for off-grid. I this is one of the best off-grids. I've seen with that lithium package That's a lot um, then you've got tank pad heaters, you've got a nice furnace, you've got a high efficiency AC, and then having the enclosed heated tanks is nice too. So um, this kind of has all the fun tech stuff on it. All right, the Outback uh, Ultralight. This is the 240 URS. We've looked at this model uh, very extensively, and it is one that it's, it's unique. Um, that's what we like. I wish there was a slide out out the side, but... So this whole back king bed is a slide out. Um, and let's look at the specs first. So the 240 is about 5,400 pounds dry, 2,200 pounds carrying capacity, 590 hitch weight. Your length is about 28 foot six, but it really acts like a lot longer trailer because you have that king bed that pushes out the back. Uh, 54 gallons of fresh, that's a ton. 30 gallons gray, I wish that was a little more. 30 gallons of black. Um, actually, we've looked at this 244 UBH, and I think we talked about that one last year. That one's a pretty nice model too. But let's get back to this guy. This is, so, so you've got, you walk in here, you've got this area, which you have a ramp door, so you could have an ATV, you could pull in kayaks, paddle boards, kind of all fun things. You might have to do them diagonal, but, and then you've got bunk beds that flip up. Um, but the fun thing about this is that you can close this door. And so you've basically got a separate bedroom for somebody. So you could have someone in a bedroom here. You've got a nice wardrobe for them in storage. And then you've got kind of a bedroom here in your king bed. So you could kind of have two families 
sleep in this. Um, the, so uh, the sofa bed is a sofa sleeper and the booth dinette is a sleeper too. So you could, you could sleep a lot of people in this one. Um, the only downside though is, is when you're in it, it's kind of like you're walking down this narrow path when you have your sofa sleeper down and things like that. But if you're, if that's just sleeping mode, that's totally fine. Actually, you can see, you can see in this, uh, Matterport here, let's go inside how it's kind of just like this long galley. Um, but you get a ton. It's a king bed in the slide out. You have some nice storage up there. And then you have this this couch bed. You have a dinette. And these are taken with wide view lenses, so that's why it does look a little more narrow. And then you have your fridge, you have your storage. Um, I think there's kind of a lack of storage for clothing in this. If you, I mean, if you really had eight people sleeping in it, the kitchen is not the greatest just because you're kind of in the way of everyone that needs to go through. It's got a nice bathroom, but then this is the best part. This is a separate bunk room. So you've got two bunks and you've got um, your storage and then this ramp. So if you have an ATV or a motorcycle or something, you could take that along the way. And uh, that's a great feature. You've gotten some nice tie downs and and uh, we've looked at this model a lot, just kind of thinking since we bring our bikes and stuff and then our daughter could have a separate room. So that is a top one on our list for this year in 2022. All right, the next one is the Outdoor RV Timber Ridge, the 23DBS, which is a double bunk. This, I'd say Outdoor RV, I wish they would do some of the lighter materials now. They're starting to get better about it, but um, nowadays I think people want the light and bright. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at this guy. This is one, so since we boondock a lot, this is actually one of our favorites. All right, so let's let's go through the specs first, and you'll see why. So we've got our double bunks. You've got the um, outdoor kitchen. You've got a nice bathroom with a skylight. You've got your pantry, your hanging storage for whomever sleeping in the bunks. You've got a nice huge dinette. You've got a queen bed. Um, you've got the... It's kind of standard there. Um, this is all kind of a standard bunkhouse, but... Your dry weight, 6,300 pounds. And they they make build these things like tanks. These things are built. If you go walk in one of these outdoor RV, you will you will be inspired by the quality. Um, you will don't if you don't have the need to want to buy one of these, don't go walk through it because you'll be disappointed by every other RV you walk through. Freshwater tank, 80 gallons. That's a ton. If you want a boondock, get this one. Uh, water heater. 10 gallons and remember that doesn't give you 10 extra gallons you still got to have water to pump in for pressure to that so a lot of people i've seen say oh you have 10 gallon water heater and 80 gallon fresh that's 90 gallons of fresh water well no um you gotta for pressure you gotta have water pumping into the 10 gallon tank so you really only have 80 gallons you've got two heavy duty 5100 pound axles they overbuild these things 35,000 btu furnace the other ones were about 25,000. You've got almost seven foot of interior height, 60 gallons of propane, or 60 pounds, excuse me. To, um, you've got a 40, 40 gallon gray, 40 gallon black, uh, huge cargo carrying capacity at 3,600 pounds, nice dry hitch weight at 700, maybe a little on the high side, but um, if we want to look at the Matterport, let's go through it. These Matterports are so cool. I don't know if you guys have done these or not, but um, so you've got a nice dinette with windows that open for really good ventilation. As you can see, there's more lighting in this than I think I've seen in most RVs. There's a ton of lighting. I think ours has only three lights in the whole common kind of main area. This thing has a ton. So you've got your double bunks. You've got a little bit of storage underneath. And then we've got our bathroom. And it's actually got a tub because you have so much water. And then these are these arms are cool on the shower because they kind of they go out when you're using it, but then they fold in when you're not. Nice storage, nice mirror with storage. You've got some nice storage here with your TV. 
Um, this is kind of the same bunkhouse we see, or same kitchen we see in a lot of models. So this is a tried and true plan. Uh, many RV manufacturers use this plan and it's a great plan. But outdoor RV, they do a great job in building. This, instead of coming all the way down, you actually get a little spot to put your cell phone, your book, kind of a, a little table, which is really nice. And then you get double doors, so. So that's the Timber Ridge. They, they have max fans, they have some solar on them. You can add solar. They have electric jacks, they have nice Goodyear tires, they have a trailer hitch, they have a locking um, kind of cable lock. You can add four batteries. These things are really built. Let's see if we can find the outdoor kitchen. I don't know if we're going to have a picture of that. Doesn't look like it. But let's pull this up. It looks like you have the pack and play door. You've got nice pass through storage. So these are nice. You can fit bicycles in them. You've got your back of your fridge, you've got your furnace, and then your water heater all in one easy spot. So um, this is a great model, and these are all great models, and we wouldn't pick one and show you guys unless they were great. But um, Outdoor RV, you guys do a great job, and they have a radius ceiling, which is really nice, so you can kind of get more height. But So those are all the five that, that we're looking out for this year, and that I would say are the top bunkhouse trailers really under 25 feet um, I guess one is 27 but we're close enough all right make sure to check out our course if you are in the market for an RV so that you don't walk out of that dealer with something that doesn't work um, and especially if you're buying a used model yeah. thanks for watching and stay tuned because we're going to have more of these coming up and we're going to go through bigger bunkhouses and then we're going to go through some other models so we'll uh, catch you later thanks for watching